your dating and relationship coach, founder of Apollonia1B.com. And in today's video, we are going to talk about how to get her back. This is a great, great video that I want you to use as a self-coaching video for you to understand how to get her back, but also understand too that coaching sessions are very important because you, every relationship is different. And I'm going to try to tailor this advice to maybe something that you're going through so you can use this in regards to self-coaching. Now, a lot of, I want to talk about what a lot of people do wrong in regards to trying to get someone back. And men, I want you to understand that there's a difference between showing feeling and then being needy, okay? And when you're trying to get a woman back, showing feeling and, you know, saying, you know, I, I love you or, you know, you mean a lot to me does not mean that you're needy. Okay. I'm not saying to continue to do this and call her every day and say, I love you. I love you. I love you. And I need you in my life. And, and I just can't see my life without you. And I'm so sorry. And please just come back to me because I can't live without you. That's needy behavior. Okay. And I'm going to do a video about the, about the difference between vulnerability and neediness, because this is such a big topic and I'll put it up here on the cards if the video is done by then. But anyways, let's move on. The reason why I start with this is because what you don't do is that behavior. If you are in a situation where a woman pulled away, right? It pulled away because she said that she wasn't ready or she lost chemistry, she needs time, she needs space, she's not ready to settle down with you, she doesn't know what she wants. Oh my God, I can go on with a list of things that I hear all the time from women and I know how women operate, right? So if you feel that you have to continue to push and push her and call her every single second in order to get her back, you're completely wrong. Because what you're gonna end up doing is pushing her away. And a lot of times women like to play this crazy mind game saying, I wanna see you fight for me. Okay, here's the thing then. The only case that I would say you need to fight for a woman is if you were royal, royal, like royally messed up, okay? If you like literally cheated on her or, or something happened in the relationship, which I talk about in a lot of my videos, but that's not the case. If she's playing games with you because of the fact that she has more control than you, then this is really important for you to pay attention to and I want you to listen to me right now. There's so many times where clients will book sessions with me and within 10 minutes of them telling me their story with a relationship with a woman, I see how much more control that this woman has over them. And you can call this games, you can call this, um, you know, inauthentic, but it's truly not. And I'm sick of people saying this is games because it's not, it's actual human behaviors. And I want you to understand something. Okay, because it comes to dating and we classify everything as games, if the woman has more control, that, that means that you're not good enough. Or if the man has more control, that means that that woman is not good enough. It's human nature. It's like, let me break it down for you. A lot of people think, oh, it's games in a relationship, right? But what about like when we're growing up, when we're children? Okay, so imagine your mother, okay? You always basically not listening to what your mother has to say and she not doing anything about it. And you as a child have more control. So you continue to do those things. You continue to do those patterns. You continue to test the limits. You continue to do everything she told you not to do because there's no boundaries. So when the sense of control is lost in a relationship, then there's no boundaries and that's what it shows me that there's no boundaries. So it's really important for you men to really analyze your relationship and say, how much control do I really have? Because when I get on the phone with you and there's a man that reaches out to me, I will help you get there. But the one question that I always ask that you can ask yourself is, how much control do you really have of this relationship? Not of the woman, but the relationship. Have you set a foundation? Have you set boundaries? Possibly not if you're watching because at this point, you don't need to beg a woman to get you back. You don't need to say, I love you and I'll do anything to get you back and you know, call her every single day because if you come from a mindset of scarcity or lack, it's not gonna woman, win a woman back. You have to come in a mindset of abundance, which I'll talk about at the end of this video. Now, alluding to what I'm saying is, when you come from a place of scarcity and lack, you are giving away control and you're not gonna get her back this way. And then another thing that comes up a lot too that men ask me is Apollonia, if I don't continue to call her every single day and show her my love, she'll probably just move on, forget about me and fall in love with another guy. And I always say, okay. Well, if a woman was going to move on and fall in love with another guy that quickly, 
my answer to them is she was never in love with you in the first place. So this was a toxic relationship and you're basically jumping, you're on the fence for someone that's not jumping fences for you. You understand what I mean here? So get out of that scarcity mindset because the scarcity and the lack is going to keep you in this place of lack. So in order for you to switch into abundance, you've got to put your own self, I say this all the time, on a pedestal. You've got to come from a place of I am enough. And if this woman doesn't see it, then that is her fault. And I'm going to stay true to my values, but also respect her in a way where I set the foundation for my expectations of what I want. So taking a couple steps back will let you gain control. I would consider not talking to her for anywhere from 30 to 45 days, depending on the relationship, and sometimes even 60 days. I've had clients do 60 days and have an absolute turnaround, and now they're back in a relationship and some are getting married. But the thing here is you've got to have a sense of control when it comes to this. And the next question always that men always ask is, why do I obsessively think about her? You obsessively think about someone because the mind is trained for you, when you put someone on a pedestal that they're better than you and you put these thoughts that if I did this right it could have been perfect if you did this xyz right then it would have worked out now you're training your mind to focus on the what would have worked out possibility and the xyz when you're not looking at the reality so in turn what you're doing is you're placing her on a pedestal and the mind is only trained to think about what you want the most and what you gravitate to and what you constantly think about. So this is the reason why it's doing this, why, because, why your mind keeps on obsessively thinking about her. So think about it. I want you to think about this. Typically men are like, okay, I never met a woman like this because of the feeling that she's given me. She's beautiful. She has a nice body. Um, she's, she, you know, she's great in bed possibly. And it's just this feeling I'm funny. I don't know. But then I always ask, okay, if it's really the feeling, why are you so addicted to a woman that's not addicted to you? That's not boundary. I mean, that's not value, excuse me. Your values aren't aligned and she's not offering something of substance. So you're chasing something that is hard to get. And this is a reality of it. You have to become hard to get now so she can see you in a different light because now she has so much control. So what I want you to do is take steps back. Now that I've diagnosed all of the questions that can come up in your head, take a step back. Go 30, 45 days without contacting, and I want you to have focus on you. This time will be the hardest time for you, yes, possibly. You're going to go up and down with emotions, but I can completely and authentically and 100% honestly tell you that you will go up and down, but you will feel much powerful in the process as time goes on. Once you gain a sense of control, you're going to show the woman that you are doing new things in your life, that you aren't going to beg her to come back to you, but you're just going to open up the platform to say, hey, listen, I know what I, I'm here for. I know my, my feelings were this for you, but I didn't like the way that you treated me, and I know that's not what I deserve. And stop being passive and stop being dismissive and be assertive and direct with a woman and take the lead and the initiative of what you want in your life. A lot of men get scared because they're like, if I'm becoming assertive, then I'm not respectful. No, not at all. I've actually done a video about that and I'll put it here in the cards. So become more assertive and direct with what you want. So in this time that you're not talking to her, I want you to think about what it is that your heart truly desires from a woman or specifically this woman and a woman because I don't want you to focus just on one, this woman anymore. What I want you to do is focus on you because the last thing that you do is you don't get your days back and you don't get your time back. And the last thing I want you to do is focus on something that will never work and putting so much effort onto that because the way that you get back a woman is not focusing on her. It's about focusing on yourself. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and share your comments below on what you're going through. I would love to help and I'll try my best to get back to you. And if not, I welcome the community to help you guys out and to help each other out here on this YouTube channel because I love when I see the community supporting each other. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. And remember, you are always loved. Bye for now.